Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Hope you're having a good day. And of course, you're looking at Studio D. You might be wondering, hey, Studio A, we know it was back there at the fireplace. Studio B, the, the new upgraded place there. And then Studio C out in the, down there, enjoying it in another state. And then of course, Studio D, which is, stands for Disney World. For those that know, you know I'm down here enjoying a good time at FinCon 22, but I had to come out and film and I didn't have all the lighting. We're doing this very, very early in the morning. And so with that being said, the sun's not out yet. So, you know, the early bird gets the worm. Hopefully that'll be true in investing as well. Now, I wanna start out with a special shout out. I got a message I thought it was pretty cool. And this is from Julian and Erica. You guys wanted a special shout out. You guys said you got the bucket hats on and watch the vid so I did want to say thank you and if you haven't done it everybody else put a comment down below let me know where you're from and of course how are you doing how are you holding up what, what's your favorite play right now what is going on now if you haven't done it yet take advantage of the Moo Moo link down below. Right now, this is very limited time. You can get yourself nine free stocks using my link. If you don't use my link, you may not get those nine free stocks. So you gotta put $100 in. You can get up to $20,000 in free stocks for using my link. Everybody 18 or older in the house. And then I have the Weeble link. And if you're looking for the Ethereum, we're gonna talk a little bit about Ethereum today. You got the merge coming up. The They are giving right now, put a dollar in, and you can get up to 12 free stocks. And of course, between them, and that could be worth up to 30,000. So between them, you never know. You might get a shot at 50K altogether. It'd have to take a lot of random number generators uh, being on your side, but it can happen. And so after that, come on over to the Patreon. We're over there talking, having a good time, and you got the private Discord and you can see all the portfolios. I don't have the, the computer screens up and rolling here. I don't have the setup yet, but I did want to come out and just give some messages, talk about yesterday, talk about where we're going, and talk about the big news out there. And that, of course, is the Ethereum merge. So as we look, and I'm going through yesterday, we could see the Dow down 0.55, S&P 0.41, NASDAQ 0.74. It was a roller coaster of a ride. I mean, I was listening to so many different analysts going through, you know, Wall Street was pulling out their finest. You had people calling for the S&P 500, Personally, I still think there's a great shot to get up there to 4,800 plus 100 minus 100 by the end of this year. I know people are like, what? It's down to 3,908 right now. Yes, that would mean almost a 20, well, around a 20% pop plus some uh, to get up to that. And that could happen if we get that Santa Claus rally. So I'm going into this fully expecting to see a rally starting soon. But what are we waiting for? Of course, is the Fed. The meeting is, what do we got? September 20th and the 21st. Old Uncle Jay Powell is gonna throw a few punches, throw some more water on the fire. And our job is to hopefully have all that priced in. If he does a 50 basis point hike, the inflation numbers come in, not too bad. It surprises people, they start falling. That's when I think you're gonna hear people say, wow, hold on here. Maybe they won't do the 75 basis point hike. I still believe this is the last oversized hike, and that's going to be the key. Once people see the Fed getting back to a more normal raising of rates, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, I think the market will calm down. That's very aggressive for a lot of people out there. This is truly the first bear market they've ever invested in, but don't worry. I'm here to help you through it. I've been through quite a few of them, and they're never any fun. They can last a long time. On average, I believe we talked about this yesterday, I believe it was two 298 days uh, if I'm correct we can review that it may have been 289 but at the end of the day that is the average length and then after that we had different numbers for how long the next bull market will last but it could be anywhere from uh, almost three years all the way up to five years depending on what metrics you're looking at and what they're using and all this other stuff but at least we know this, they last two to three times as long, if not longer. So what we need to do is get through this. I do not believe that you're going to see the next major bull market. I'm not talking about like the Nasdaq jumping the 20% and by definition hitting a new bull market. I'm talking long-term, kind of linear, we're moving up nicely, bull market until the Fed switches gears. They need to get to quantitative easing before we ever get to that point. So that is definitely something I'm waiting for, I'm watching, and we gotta keep our eyes on that. And I don't believe that'll happen until next year sometime. But I do believe they will switch gears and start to do quantitative easing at that point. What's gonna have to happen is 
And we'll see if this happens. And I had a lot of people discussing this. Could the Fed come out and say, we'll be all right with two to 3% inflation for the short term and then calm down? And that's something we're gonna have to wait and see. Or are they gonna try to drive that down to the point that it is sub two in terms of, of inflation and actually go overboard and create deflation and then just all kinds of messed up economy at that time. We will wait and see. I think unemployment is going to get weaker and that's going to spike. And I think that's going to get ugly for them. And there's a lot of other things, but I don't believe that happens till after the holidays this year. And that leads us into what's going on. I've said this so many times. People are always like, I see it in the comments once in a while. And I think did they even watch all the videos over the last few months. I'll say it again. I believe a short term rally of 10 to 20 percent if not a little bit more will happen again we already hit the first one we called it it did it now you're seeing a pullback i believe we're going to get another one in 2022 another 10 to 20 percent should be a little bit above 20 percent rally to end this year it doesn't mean it's going to go all the way up to january 1st it could end before it could go a little bit in and so at that point that's when i'm probably going to make my next rotation i mean this is going to be a big change so if you want to follow along like i said i got that down below uh the the patreon you come over and follow i'm going to be doing a lot of different things at this time but that is my plan and that is my investing plan i never tell you what to buy and sell but right now i am kind of going with my money and thinking we're going to have a nice rally to end this year now i don't think it starts until probably beginning of october at this point because the fed and all that stuff they said a couple of weeks ago on that friday when he came out and they got really aggressive in their speech the worst i've seen them do it in a long time they were trying to throw water in the fire and they did we're seeing the nasdaq down since then since that week uh once we go let me take a look at this since that week just august 15th to september 6th 12 percent we're talking a little over two weeks three weeks here you're looking at 12 percent loss in the market remember the average gain is 10 percent for a year in the s p 500 based since they had the 500 companies in annualized you're seeing 12 percent loss in the nasdaq in under three weeks that is a wild ride and it could get uglier now what's the big news out there rush it says it will not resume natural flows gas flows via a key pipeline Nord stream one to europe until the collective west lifts sanctions against the country i don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon but there you, there you go and i said why do i have i had a lot of people asking why'd you load up on energy with over a hundred thousand dollars it's because I, if anything goes wrong, if we have hurricanes that disrupt the oil and, and the, the, all the processing that goes into it this year, if we have a bad winter in Europe, in the United States, anything could mess this up, you're gonna see energy prices spike. You already had OPEC, I believe they came out and announced 100,000 barrels per day cut, which is just minimal, but uh, with disruptions down in the, uh, with the oil in the Gulf, that could be a million barrel per day disruption if something happens down there. We have the winners that if the demand starts to spike and they don't have enough energy, you're gonna see all kinds of prices going through the roof. It could just get ugly. So that's why I have it. If we go into a major recession before the end of this year, I could take a big hit there because the energy usually does suffer. So there's all kinds of things I'm watching for that. Uh, there's no guarantees on how this will go over, but I am watching right now, pre-markets, just once again, we're just watching all these things, how everything went. We'll see, Is it? are we in store for more red? How long will this last? I know you want the million dollar answers. I don't got them. Like I said, you cannot predict the Fed and what the Fed is going to do. The best thing we can do is just plan for both scenarios, be well diversified, look at some good solid, I always say value plays. Make sure you're getting good companies that are creating wealth, they have the money, they're gonna be able to survive, the cash flow looks solid. And then if you're really in doubt, check out some of the recession-proof stocks, I call them. Look at utilities. I showed you Dominion Energy the other day. It is doing fantastic. Ticker symbol D, put in year to date. You'll be surprised after the market's getting hammered down. That one's green for the year. People still need your utilities. They pay their bills. Mostly, most people are paying their bills. It's getting tight out there. I know energy prices is spiking. I know over in Europe, I heard how bad that's getting now. For all you people watching the channel over in Europe, I, I 
absolutely you got my well wishes because it is horrible over there i know they're shipping as much lng over there as they possibly can from the states hopefully that'll help out a little bit now as we go forward keep in mind you got to keep the keep your eyes on the prize no more chasing the crumbs we're going for the whole loaf put loaves down below where are you from put loaves in the comments because we're in this together listen family the best thing we can do is make sure we're diversifying make sure we're looking at solid companies now i know some people out there uh are looking at you know i i told you the three i really think every portfolio should consider that is apple that is google you got amazon you can throw in those three and you look fantastic you can check out a little bit of extra with tesla and neo and of course ibm intel a you know amd nvidia there's a lot of other companies that i think could are selling at a big discount right now so i, I like those as well so at this point if you haven't done it don't leave the free money on the, the table. Take advantage of the Weeble link, $1. Everybody in the house can sign up. You get all put a buck in, you'll get those up to 12 free stocks. Take advantage of that. It could be worth up to 30K a piece. And then of course, the Moomoo link. Take advantage of this. Look me up and add me and follow me over at Moomoo. They have a community in there. I'm over there as well. And uh, we're talking different things over there. And all you gotta do is put $100 in, you'll get nine free stocks because that's what we worked it out for our viewers. And it can be worth up to $20,000. It's limited time, so take advantage of that. Have everybody in the house do it. Then come on over to the Patreon and join me. Now, I'm down here, in case you're wondering, I am now down here at FinCon in Orlando. If you see me out and about, say hi. I'll be walking around Disney World as well. I am looking forward to having a fun week, and we'll see uh, all the people that join us. Now, if you haven't done it, I do have the video up here. I hope I have the video up here. Hopefully, I'm not just pointing at the wall, but I should have the video up here. Come on over and check this one out, too, before you go. Now, I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.